Don't get cold feet on me now, Mary. It's a great idea. What are you scared for? I don't know. It, it's sneaky, that's it, and it doesn't seem right. Oh, right, wrong. Look, kid, we are dealing with a real snake here. I mean, when did Nancy Lawson ever stop to think what's right and what's wrong, huh? Like when she tried to snuff you out with dope? Do you suppose she stopped and thought to herself, oh, gee, maybe I shouldn't do this. It might not be right. No, it's, it's just that I don't think I'm cut out for this sort of thing. Oh, when I am, is that it? Oh, no, no, I'm sorry. It's just that, uh, look. I don't make it a habit of hanging out in people's closets either. You know, but I'd do anything to get back at Nancy Lawson. Right, well, okay, I know what you're saying. I really do. Uh, remember, I told you there was a time when I wouldn't have thought anything about doing something like this. But before, see, my father and I tried to frame my husband, Paul, in order for me to have that edge in our divorce settlement. Yeah, but we're not trying to frame anybody. We're talking about justice. And justice is a good thing. Things are different now. I've changed, and... Yeah, uh, yeah, so you don't get go after innocent people anymore. That's great. But you still can't let a snake like Nancy Lawson get away with murder. Okay, okay. So I went <coughs> out and found this camera. 35 <coughs> jeans. <clears throat> oh, don't stop talking on account of me. Okay, Charles, where are you? And we had dinner reservations at the King's Arms. And not even here. Well, but isn't little Miss Snow White <laughs> talking to the birdies? Look, will you leave me alone? This is a big house. Why don't you go somewhere else instead of breathing down my neck all oh, the time? Oh, Nancy, Nancy, I'm sorry to see you so tense all the time. I'll tell you what, let me give you a nice, friendly background. Look, leave me alone, will you please? <laughs> see, I want to thank you for your first interest payment. I certainly enjoyed that. In fact, there's nothing that we can't share now together, is there, Nancy? <laughs> Come on, tell me what's in that thick little skull of yours. Look, I don't have to sit here and take Oh, this. but you do. You do have to sit there, Nancy. This must have something to do with sugar daddy, huh? I mean, you're all dressed up beautifully. You going out on the town? Hmm? None of your business. Nancy, once again, you're wrong. Everything you do is my business. In fact, you are my business. Now, whether we're alone here together, or we're with other people, or even when we're apart, I'm in control, and don't you forget it. From now on, you're going to treat me with respect, which means, among other things, no lip. <laughs> don't worry about it. I won't give you any lip. <laughs> Touché. That's very clever. Except, as I said, you really have no control over the matter, do you? Hmm? Come here. Come here. Come on, wait for me. <laughs> Hello? Charles, where are you? Yeah, but we had dinner reservations, you know, at the King's Arms. Well, give my love to the board then. I don't believe that. I mean, he's been working with those people all day long and he can't even take an hour out to take me to dinner. Oh, poor baby. You must be losing your touch. But be careful you don't lose your hold because we wouldn't want that to happen, would we? Okay, I'll tell you what I'll do. I will take you to the King's Arms myself. No, thank you. Okay. Okay, if you want to stay here alone with me. Such a shame, though, to waste two perfectly good dinner reservations. This is disgusting. <laughs> oh, I knew you'd see it my way. Well, hi yourself. <laughs> I don't know if I should leave and come back later when let you two get through whispering. 
Oh, I didn't realize it sounded like that. Mm. I'm sorry. We were uh, just talking about all kinds of things, nothing really. Oh, well, I never saw nothing come to a halt as fast as that. Well, Ion, wait a minute. We, we were not talking about you. Honestly, we weren't. We, no, 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 we were, it's just something we can't go into right now. Well, why not? Well, we would, uh, but Oh, just... well, you don't have to tell me if you don't want to, but I just hope you two aren't mixed up in something you ought not to be mixed up in. Oh, no. Oh, no, <laughs> no oh, we're God. not. Then what is it, girls? Uh, well, it's a surprise. Oh. Yeah, I'm sorry, I own that I can't tell you about it, but if I did, well, then it wouldn't be much of a surprise, would it? Mm. Oh, that's right. Yeah, we hope you understand. Mm-hmm. So, why don't we help you with dinner? Oh, oh well, there'll just be the three of us tonight, so you come on in the kitchen. Let's see what we can rustle up. Oh, where's Gene tonight? Oh, I don't know. He called me a little while ago out of the blue and said uh, he decided to eat out. Oh, at least you know it's not your cooking. Mm. I mean, if it was me, I could understand it. <laughs> oh, yes. Yeah, so, so you seem to be worrying about Gene a lot. Oh, Gene. He's so heavy in spirit, you know, I have to fight to keep the weight of it from dragging me down, too. Oh, I know, but don't let it. Don't let it do that. You're just cheerful all the time. We wouldn't want to see you sad. Oh, thank you, honey. You know, this thing with Carl and Jean has gotten out of hand, so I just wish they could mend their differences. Oh, they will. I'm sure they will. I don't know, and uh, especially the way they act now. I don't know. That marital problems can be difficult to solve. Yes, they can, but, you know, they don't have to be as hard as some folks make them out to, you know. If folks would just kind of forget about all this pride. <laughs> pride. That's what's keeping Carl and Jean apart right now, pure and simple. Well, just look at me carrying on like this. <laughs> let's just get something good to eat. Well, uh, let's make it light, because Miriam and I won't have time for much more than a quick bite tonight anyway. Right, Miriam? Right. You ought to get married, Gil. Yeah. No way. <laughs> Why not? Ah, there's only one of me to go around. You know, I don't want to disappoint all these ladies out here. <laughs> no, I'm serious, man. It's high time you settle down. Not according to my watch, it ain't. Listen, man, are you afraid you picked the wrong one? No. Is that your uh, worries, huh? No, no, no. I know the right one when I see her. I just haven't seen her yet. Oh, yeah, so you're trying to tell me that you're the marrying type, huh? Oh, come on. Admit it. No, no, no. Look, I'm not admitting to anything. Because as soon as I do next week, I have to eat crow. Yeah, that's what those hamburgers are made out of, aren't they? <laughs> yeah, you want one? No. But I, how about some chips? Got any? Mm, yeah. Here we All go. Right. No, actually, I don't think I could uh, handle giving up my freedom. And something about women, man, they want you to live your whole life around them, you know? No way. Look, how would you know? You never went out with the same girl twice. Oh, sure I have. You know, I just, I don't know, I just start feeling that noose around my neck and I can't hack it. Oh, man. man, that's a whole lot of big talk. I bet you'd reach for that noose if the right woman came along. <laughs> right woman? Mm -hmm. Leon, there's not such thing as a, a right woman, you know. They're all right. I just don't like limiting myself. <laughs> <laughs> man, I tell you. You know... Okay, say you met the right woman, mm -hmm. okay? Would you grab and marry her? Yeah, mm -hmm. Probably. Seriously? Yeah, oh, probably. Oh. Jane, my man. Uh, is my food getting better or did you eat already? No, Leon, I just need a little changes on. Well, try these. I think they're safe. How you doing, buddy? Fine. So what do you have, man? I don't know. Let me see a menu. Okay, okay. Leon. Now, take Gene, for example. Now, he's exactly what we're talking about. Mm. Uh-huh. I don't know what I walked into, but I don't like being classified. <laughs> no, no, no. We were just debating the jaws of matrimony, the way we always do in there right here. Well, you guys can spare me the lectures. I get enough of that stuff at home. Daddy always leaves that on whenever he's gone out. It's, you know, like a family tradition, practically, or something. That's what makes me pretty sure that they're gone. Do you hear anything? No, no. I'm almost positive they've gone out, because that was Nancy's car in the driveway, and Daddy's car was not in the garage. Hey, wait a minute. Did you ring the doorbell first? No, what? Uh, oh, just to make sure. Okay. They've gone. They're not here.
teacher was staring, not even a mouth. <sighs> come on, Miriam, don't tell me they got mice in here. Come on, no, no, come on. Okay, okay, so what are we gonna do first? We're gonna go scout out Nancy's room or something? Uh, no. No, well, okay, well, what? you're in charge, whatever you say. <sighs> Miriam, don't hate me. I don't hate you, what is the matter with you? I can't stay here. What? I can't do it. You have got to do this, you I, said. I know what I said, but it just hit me. I mean, what if you get caught in here? So what? You're, you know, you live here. I mean, you've got a key to the house. You're Charles Carpenter's daughter. He ain't gonna press charges against you. I am not gonna do this myself. This was your dumb idea. I know, I know. But look, I don't even think we could do it together anyway. Look, what if we get thrown in jail? I mean, what if I get thrown in jail? Gee whiz, they could say I broke in for crying out loud. I mean, if I get thrown in jail, I'd be a sitting duck for Ronnie. Okay, you're right. So just forget the whole thing because I didn't want to do this in the first place. Look, I know, I know. But please, Miriam, it's a good idea, really. I mean, it's a great idea. You're the only one that can do it and get away with it. You know, now, come on. I'll wait outside in the car and, uh, you know, just kind of wait there and you go ahead. I promise I won't let you down. Ugh, you already have. No, I know. Miriam, I swear, I swear, it'll work out better this way. Just do it the way we plan, and it'll all work out. I'm being used. Justice, Miriam. Remember, that's what you're here for. Have you got the camera? Yes, I've got the camera. Well, where is it? It's right here. It's here. I've got it. Have you got film in it? Yes, I've got film. I sure hope you know how to use that thing. Yeah, I do. Don't worry about it. I'm going to set it all up once I get upstairs. Okay, look. Before anybody gets here, let's just, for good luck, you know, run through this one more time. Okay, just okay, let's go. Okay, what do I do first? Well, first... Oh, my gosh. They're here. They're oh, no! Is there a back door? Yeah, go ahead. Go through the back. Of course there's a back door. Back door. Back that way, Sim. Where you go on? Which way? It's back there in the kitchen. Go on. Don't forget to go upstairs. Charles? Charles? No, aren't you sorry we left early? We could have had a nice, leisurely dessert. You dessert? If you had anything sweet, I think you'd go spastic or something. <laughs> Charles! Now, you know he's not here. Why can't you accept these things gracefully? The day I accept anything gracefully from an aging old nincompoop like Charles or a selfish mercenary like you, what would you laugh about? <laughs> oh, beautiful. You just gave a perfectly accurate description of Charles Carpenter. I love it. <laughs> yeah, I did rather. <laughs> you sure did. Well, what about you, Mr. Barron? I thought it was a pretty accurate description of you, too. Oh, I'll agree to that. You will? Sure. The only difference between me and Charles is that I still have my youth and, uh, you know, some looks left. Well, that's not very nice. I mean, youth isn't everything. Oh, agreed. But you gotta admit, it's nice to have around when you need it. Well, I don't need it.
Hey, let me slip your cup and slide this out. Oh, you're a little bit late, brother. Uh, you're real sharp, man. You know? kept Tammy on this evening. I guess. I, hey, how'd you ever get stuck in this business anyway with everything else you do? Hey, yeah, you know, this Dinah came first. Did you ever know Shorty DeBo? Nope. Shorty? I haven't heard about him in years. Yeah, that's right, Gene. You knew him, right? Yeah. Well, see, Shorty used to be a friend of my dad's, right? And this used to be his place at first. I used to work here some after school. Oh, I started pretty early in life, huh, Leon? Yeah, and it turned out pretty lucky, too. Huh. Well, when Shorty died, uh, I had been working for him on and off about six years. So uh, he didn't have any kids or anything, and being a good friend of my dad's and all, left the whole place to me. Not well, bad. <laughs> yeah, I'd already had a good crowd of steady customers. I didn't have to do much of anything. Uh, even kept a name for a while, but um, it used to be called Shorties, you know. People kept coming in, new people, calling me Shorty, so. <laughs> Change it. <laughs> Come <in>, Shorty. <laughs> Leon. Yeah, Shorty's Diner. Yes, through this place, man, it helped me finance my rugs, moving firm, real estate, and everything else. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who's the uh, knockout? <laughs> hey, Leon, watch it, man. Don't become a partner in crime, oh, dude. Oh, come on, come on. Uh, it's uh, Mimi Gilbert. Watch it. Oh, Mimi. I'm in love. Uh, uh, I wouldn't mess with her, Gil. Her old man's a truck driver, and he'll knock your block off if he finds out you're messing with his fiance. Leon, no problem. That turkey is amazing. Yeah, maybe. But uh, don't be surprised one day if he ends up turkey stew. I seen it happen. Yeah, I know what you mean. Gene, you ever uh, call that buddy of mine down at the Chronicle? No, I haven't had time yet. Well, what you waiting on, man? I thought you were interested. Now, you're going to need a job soon. I know, man, I know. But I, I appreciate everything. But you know, I'm thinking about leaving Kingsley. Oh, hey, you going up to Lake Tahoe, huh? <laughs> Carla know you're coming yet? No, I'm not going to Lake Tahoe. I'm thinking about leaving Kingsley for good. Oh, come on, Gene, man, you are crazy. Now, how many times I need to tell you don't blow your ponderosa? But how many times I need to tell you I don't need any lectures, man? It's probably a good career move. Career move? Huh? Yeah, it's a career move. I need a change. The only move you need to make is to straighten things out with Carla. Leon, spare me the lectures, dude. Look, man, I've been through a lot with you two now, so don't tell me no lectures. And you can patch things up if you want to. And what? Follow her around everywhere? Well, it's not that simple, buddy. Fine, it's not that simple. But whatever it is, you and Carla can't work things out if you're in different parts of the country. All that Charles ever gets is bills and junk mail. Wait, right, look at this stupid magazine he gets. Commerce Digest. Hey, I got a neat article here on yachting. Why don't you come over here and we'll read it together? No, thanks. I'm tired. I think I'm going to go to sleep. Okay. Nighty night. Well, aren't you going to take me upstairs? I mean, suppose Charles walks in. I'm traipsing up the stairs. <laughs> you're right. You know, you're getting pretty good with this act. I think you're about as professional as I am. Well, considering the stake I have in all of this, it'd be pretty stupid to get careless at this point. <laughs> I mean, it's taken me a long time to get his sympathy built up for me. And I intend to get my payoff. Hey, I'll drink to that. <laughs> what, carrot juice? <laughs> I always wondered how you treat people who really are paralyzed. Oh, that's a trade secret. But I'll tell you, I'd be a lot more careful with them than I am with you. Up we go. Hey, hey look, forget it. Let me just walk up, all right? OK. Why don't you just fold the thing up and bring it up? All right. You know, I don't think Charles would be able to carry up these stairs. I can imagine on his wedding night. Halfway up, you'll collapse. Oh. <laughs> Dad, that's terrible. There you are. Okay, thanks. Sleep well. Okay, good night. 